There were times when I was depressed about not being able to do what I love to do, and I focused on being grateful. And there were times that I was angry and I was mad that I couldn't do what I love to do, and I focused on being grateful. And, and I have a lot to be grateful for. When I got depressed, I wasn't just grateful. I decided to fight. And there was a time when I wanted to quit. You don't walk out, you fight. Because you need to fight for your dreams. Fight for your dreams, fight for your dreams. And if you fight for your dreams, your dreams will fight for you. So yeah, guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Andy Talks Japandi. And before we get into the super special awesome news that I have to share with y'all, I do have a little bit of non-Japan related news to share, and that is I got a new camera. The Panasonic G85. Got this bad boy used off of B&H Photo. Shout out to the Everyday Dad for showing me what this bad boy can do. And this is gonna be my weapon of choice moving forward. But it literally just came in today, so the battery is completely drained and I didn't want to wait for the battery to be recharged to make this video because I can't hold in this news any longer. This is literally the best thing that I could have received and that is, it's official guys, my ass is coming back to Japan. I've been accepted into Lakeland University, Japan and I've been accepted for the spring semester 2020, which means that I'm gonna be moving to Japan at the end of this year, 2019, woo, and I'm gonna be starting up school beginning of 2020. So, oh my God, this, this is literally the culmination of four years. As I talked about in the previous Andy Talks Japan episode, I went through a lot since coming back to America after being stationed abroad in Yokosuka, Japan for two years. The original plan was to graduate college in the States and then come back to Japan. But as you guys know, and follow me for that time, um, things don't always work out as we planned. And I went through some stuff mentally that I had to unpack and it affected my grades. And I bounced around different schools until eventually the end of 2017, I decided to take a break and drop out for a little bit to, uh, to figure myself out and moved back in with my family and uh, moved out here to North Carolina to go back to school, build up my GPA, save up for Japan. And now, nearly a year later, and we're here, baby. This is the culmination of all this hard work and build up. And honestly, I couldn't be happier. I just, oh my God. <laughs> I don't even know if this is real yet. I don't think, I don't even think this whole thing is gonna sink in until I have the plane ticket in my hand and I'm actually like boarding my flight to Japan. This just seems like, oh man. As a wise person once said, when you fight for your dreams, your dreams will fight for you. I'm just so over the moon with this and uh, gonna be starting up Lakeland at the beginning of 2020. And to start up Andy Japandi again after a four year hiatus, <laughs> I guess you could call it, is the best feeling in the world. I guess for the sake of transparency, I do also want to mention that I'm going to be accepted into Lakeland University uh, on a probationary period. And what that means is that I have to get a 2.0 or higher in order to continue to go there. But considering my current track record, I have a 3.0 from last semester, looking to bump that up to like a 3.5 by the end of this semester. I think uh, I think we're gonna be okay. But I just want to mention that for the sake of transparency. Before I start rambling even more, I just want to thank you guys so much for all the support over the years and for sticking with me during this time. Because honestly, I didn't know if I was gonna make it back to Japan at all. Saving up and getting the gear and everything that I needed just seemed like such a daunting task, but I decided to, to believe in myself and uh, go all in 
cashed out my retirement fund, not all of it, but a majority of it, in order to afford everything and I couldn't be happier. So I just wanna thank you guys so much for all the support. I'm sorry this is kind of a rambly mess, but I'm just so excited, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> so, with that said guys, this is the Andy Son. Sign up for now. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye. See you soon in Japan. <laughs>